If you're like me, you've probably set a goal for yourself at some point that you had every intention of completing, but never actually did. And you just kind of forgot about it. A lot of people set goals that they never end up completing, and this can be for a variety of reasons. It could be that the goal was too big and they never actually broke it down into smaller, achievable milestones. Or maybe it was just something that they said out loud and they never actually wrote it down or sat down to get organized and get it done. So because of this, I want to create a step-by-step -step guide to show you how you can create your own goal tracker with Notion for free. Real quick, Quick, for anyone who doesn't want to build all this from scratch, I do have a template already created that you can download for free. So if you want to get access to it, just click the first link in the description. All right, so for everybody else, let's go ahead and get started. First thing that we're going to do is add a heading and then we're going to go ahead and add a gallery database. Now this right here is gonna act as our main view for all of the goals that we set. So we can go ahead and hide this title right here. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the page and we'll start adding some of the properties that we need in order for this template to function. All right, so we can go ahead and get rid of this created property. And then let's go ahead and start with the tags. So right here, you wanna add the different categories that you're gonna use for your goals. All right, now that we have that set, we wanna go ahead and add a new date property. And what we're gonna do with this is basically make it the deadline that this goal has to be completed by. And I think what I'm gonna do is make this goal lose 20 pounds. So that's gonna be specifically for health and fitness. Now that we have that set up, we're gonna add one more thing before we move on to the next section. And that is going to be a checkbox property. Go ahead and title this one archive goal. So let's go back and before we do anything else, we are going to create another database. Now this one is gonna be a board database. So title this one milestones and then we're gonna hide the title. So essentially what we're creating here is a setup where you can see your overall goals at the top and then the smaller milestones associated with that goal right below it. So now let's add a few properties to these milestones. Go ahead and open up any of them and we're gonna go ahead and take this off. So now what we're gonna do is add a property and that is going to be the checkbox. Label this one done. Now what we're gonna do is connect the first database to this database. Now in order for us to group these items together to make sure they're associated with the right goal, what we're gonna do is add a property and that property is going to be relation. Once you have that selected, select your goals database. Then what we wanna do is enable this option right here, which is going to make it so that the milestones are actually going to appear inside the pages for the goals. So we'll hit add relation and now the databases are connected. For example, this milestone right here, I can go ahead and connect it to any of the goals that I have listed out for myself. So lose 20 pounds is my only goal right now, so I'm going to select that. So now if we open up the goal, we can see that the relation that we set up is there and the milestone that we associated with it is also there. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go back to the milestones database. And instead of having this grouped by status, what I wanna do is have this group by goal. And now you can see that these are organized according to the goal that they're associated with. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these since we don't need them right now. And then what I'm gonna do is click these three dots again, go back down to the group. And I'm just going to go ahead and hide that extra column that we don't need at the moment. Now I'm actually going to add one more property to the goals database that we can see in the thumbnail preview. So let's click these three dots, go to properties, click new property, and then we're going to go to a new one, which is roll up. Now I'm going to label this progress. And then for the relation, we are going to select the milestones as it should be the only option right now. For the property, we are going to change that to our checkbox property, which is labeled done. And then under calculate, I want to see the percentage of items that are actually checked. And then I'm also going to switch it to a progress bar. This is something that's just nice to add to kind of help visualize the progress that you're making on your goals. So a quick style thing, I'm gonna open this up real quick. And for progress, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new icon. We also have the milestones icon right here, which I usually like to switch to a target. And then for the goal, I'm also gonna add an icon, which is going to be a trophy. So the next thing that we're gonna do is add a few of the progress properties to these thumbnail previews so that you can see a bit more of what's going on. So for the milestones, what I want to do is go over here to three dots, click properties, and then I just want to make the done option visible. This is our checkbox property that we're able to use to be able to see how many of the milestones are actually complete. Now, when I check this box, the progress bar at the top automatically updates. So when I add a new milestone, you can see that the progress bar up here has automatically gone back down to 50%. So what I would encourage you to do with any of the goals that you have is that instead of having this huge goal that you're not really sure how you're gonna complete, sit down and break down your big goal into smaller, more achievable milestones. That way this entire process will be a lot more approachable and you'll be able to feel a lot better while you track your progress throughout the year. So let's go ahead and add a couple more properties to the goals section. So the other one that I wanna add is when this goal is due and then I also wanna add the tags. 
Typically, I like to have it so that the date is first right below the name and then the progress bar and then the category that the goal belongs to. So what happens when a goal is complete? Well, we know for sure that we want it to disappear from the view here so that we can focus on the other active goals that we have, right? So what we're gonna do is create a new section that is actually going to be linked to the goals database. So what you can do is go to the bottom of your page and we're gonna go ahead and drop a heading there as well as create that new database. So as you can see right here, the goals database is an option. We wanna go ahead and click that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and click the gallery view so that we're working with the exact same visual as the one up top. So what we're gonna to do to make sure that only completed goals are showing here is we're gonna add a filter, then select archive goal, and then make sure that it says archive goal is checked. Okay, so we have that set up. Now remember that checkbox that we set up a little earlier in the video. That is where this comes in handy. And let's say that I'm fully done with this goal, everything went great, and I'm ready to mark this one as complete. Check the box and what's going to happen is it's going to appear in your completed section. But the problem is that it still shows up in your active goals section. So how do we get rid of it? Well, we're basically going to follow a similar process to the completed section filters. So go ahead and click filter click archive goal. And then for this one, just select archive goal is unchecked. That way all the goals that you've completed will filter out of here as soon as you click that box, but you'll still have them right here to be able to see what you've accomplished. So one last thing, what exactly happens to the milestones for the goals that we've already completed? Well, it's pretty simple. All that you do is click these three dots and then you hit delete. So that doesn't delete the actual goal. It just gets rid of the milestones, but we already know that they're done because the goal is in the completed section. On top of that, if you want to get rid of this white space right here, all that you need to do is go over to properties in the completed section. And then where you see the progress bar, just go ahead and uncheck that box. And that's just about it. So now you have a way to be able to track all of your goals and milestones in one place to make sure that you're holding yourself accountable and you're able to get all these things done while at the same time tracking your progress throughout the year. Again, if you want to get this template that you see right here already built and ready to go, just click the first link that's in the description. You can get it for free. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. And as always, until next time, I'll see you next time.